Okay. It's funny that I'm drinking from my Don't Be Gross mug because we're talking about someone who is gross today. Hey friends, it's your good friend, Tim Campbell Smith, digital marketing consultant. Today we're talking about digital marketing scam. That is the Canadian Business Review Board. Now I can imagine you might be thinking at this point, Tim, you're a digital marketer. Why are you talking about a scam? Well. Anything that has digital marketing written all over it is what we talk about. So we're here to talk about digital marketing and we're going to talk about this digital marketing scam. Now, I'm going to admit today's video is part complaining, part investigative journalism, part talking about how we can use systems in digital marketing, how they can be used and in this case, abused. Also though, this is a video on doing your due diligence and making sure that you're not signing up for scams and a little bit of digital literacy. Before we go too far, don't forget to like and subscribe for all things digital marketing. And if you like this video, you might like my other video on a secret social media MLM scam. But let's get into it. Question, did your business win an award from the Canadian Business Review Board? If so, I'm here to say, I'm so sorry this has happened to you, it's a scam. So let's talk about how I even discovered Canadian Business Review Board in the first place. So I'm just sitting here, minding my own business, doing my work, do 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 and I get an email. And this email is from the Canadian Business Review Board saying, hey, your business has been nominated, and after a rigorous review process, you are the winner for best digital marketer in your area. Congratulations. At first, like many other people, I thought, huzzah, I've won an award. But this is where I started to discover it was a scam because I went down that rabbit hole and looked into any of it. When I went down the rabbit hole to find out who these people were, because I'd never heard of them, most times when I've won an award, I know the organization, but these folks I had never heard of. So did a quick Google search and I found nothing. Like very, very little. Here's what I did find. I found their corporate registry. Because corporations in Canada get publicly registered and you can publicly find out about them, I found their public registry. Interestingly, found a name attached to it. More on that in a little bit. And the only other thing I found was an Instagram page where they were announcing winners and talking about themselves. Had a bunch of followers, but didn't notice a lot of engagement. More on that later. I would also later discover a Reddit page. Let me say this, if there is a Reddit page about you or your business, girl, you in danger, get out. It is not good to have a Reddit page about you. At first I didn't think anything of it, but then I started to see some marketing red flags, which made me really concerned. And I went deeper down the rabbit hole. At first I'd ignored their email entirely, but there were follow-ups. First, there was no place to unsubscribe, which if you've ever heard of CASEL, which is the Canadian anti-spam legislation, it is a law that states that email marketing communications and promotional communications have to have an opt-out button. And there was nothing to opt out here. And the communications kind of look personalized, but kind of not. Next, I did see a small line in my email that said anybody who wins an award would also be offered marketing resources at a low cost. But then I found more fees, and then I found people who were celebrating this, and when I was searching out social media posts, found people thought they had won a legitimate award. Let me just pause here and quickly say, if ever you win an award, do your due diligence. Research the group who's giving you the award. How many other awards have they given? How many years have they done this? What's their website ranking? Look into what the award gets you. Do they give you something right away? Do they require payment? What does that look like? And investigate any fees before you go further. Some legitimate awards do ask for a fee so they can promote you or send you an actual plaque. And that's pretty standard, but they are very clear in what they give you and they usually have social proof of it. So let me pause here with a new tie to quickly compare this to a more legitimate organization. One way that we know this is a scam is we can compare this to another organization that does something like this. I'm going to compare the Canadian Business Review Board to three best rated. Someone did ask me, Tim, isn't this how review businesses kind of start out? Sure, it might, but there's ways to be more legitimate. And when we look at legitimate businesses and legitimate review businesses, this is how we can tell the Canadian Business Review Board is a scam. Look at three best rated. Their website is fully filled out. There's an about section. There's details about how the awards work, how they work. In fact, three best rated is a not-for-profit. 
Also though, if we pull up SEO and search ranking tools, we can see that 3 Best Rated has fantastic search rankings. 3 Best Rated really has covered their bases. They are a legitimate company because they explain their process, how they work, how it works. There are people you can contact. And yes, they do ask for a fee if you win an award and you want to do something with it, but you don't have to. And if you do pay the fee, they fully explain what that fee is going towards and what it's paying for. The Canadian Business Review Board does it. So let's look at what makes this a scam. How do we know the Canadian Business Review Board isn't as legitimate, is maybe more of a scam than other review platforms? First, there's no person. My email was labeled from some person named Victoria, and I responded and said, hey Victoria, what's your connection to the person who's listed as the director on the registry? And I still haven't heard back. I called and no one would pick up the phones ever. Next, it's entirely automated. It can be done through data mining on the internet, finding your industry, your name, and then just emailing you out, asking you to sign up through a Google form. But there's also no gate. Fun fact, for research for this video, I listed about 12 different businesses saying, yeah, my business was nominated, here's my business. And it totally went through the process and would have taken my money if I let it. Also, there's no social proof of their business. Their Instagram account that you can see here, while it exists, they do not allow comments on their posts. That's a little suspicious. Also, there's not a, a lot going on Facebook, but I did see a Facebook post from a person with the same name as the director that was listed on the registry. So we know this person exists on Facebook. Also though, they are now asking for a new fee to be listed, anywhere from $350 Canadian to $1,750 Canadian. And people think they're genuinely winning an award when there isn't really any substance to it. So if you received an email from the Canadian Business Review Board that you won an award, I'm sorry that your award isn't legit. At the core of what they're doing, they are applying big digital marketing principles at scale. So let's name and claim those so we can use them for good. One, data mining. We can collect people's information and then use it in other places. Most notably, I like to talk to my clients about using emails in social media marketing. So we take emails, we put them into custom audiences that we use on Facebook and Instagram ads so we can show our ads to the right people. Two, email marketing. This is an automated system where it's sending you emails in pointing you towards one workflow, one landing page. That's kind of smart when it's not used for a scam. Finally, it's social media marketing. So they've got that Instagram, some people are demonstrating some social proof for them in posts, and it's using the world of social media. All around, it's using almost every facet of digital marketing available. However, one part of digital marketing they're probably not looking forward to is negative PR, kind of like this video. Let me know, did you win an award with the Canadian Business Review Board? Or have you ever faced a scam like this one? Comment and let me know, because I'm always kind of looking out for these and things that people are up to. As always, remember to like and subscribe for all things digital marketing and consulting. Thanks, friends. We'll chat soon. Bye for now.